Hi, my name is Dan Pontefract, the author of this book, Lead Care Win, How to Become a Leader Who Matters. And today, an excerpt from Chapter 9, Lesson 9, Champion Others. Recognize their pain. The ability to champion others was exhibited with awe-inspiring grace in March 2019 by Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand. When an Australian-born white supremacist terrorist claimed the lives of 51 people and injured 49 others, all of them at prayer in a Christchurch mosque, she intuitively invoked her knack for empathy, caring, and championing others. Ardern genuinely nurtured those affected and recognized their pain, and it showed. The Prime Minister's instinct told her to wear a hijab as an expression of solidarity when she met with the families of the victims. She refused to publicly speak the killer's name, exuding deft temperance. When Ardern did provide remarks to the press or in Parliament, her words were as blunt as they were compassionate. She knew the country's citizens were desperate for her to champion the Muslim faith, not petty politics or condescending commentary and toothless talk. Ardern recognized their pain and stood in unison with their loss. Fast forward roughly one year to Easter 2020. It's the middle of the pandemic and Ardern is thinking about the children of New Zealand. At a press conference, she declared the following. You'll be pleased to know that we do consider both the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny to be essential workers. It's another example of how Ardern recognized the pain of others, in this case, many children, and took action to turn fear into relief. That's from chapter nine, Champion Others, from this book, Lead Care Win, How to Become a Leader Who Matters. I hope you have a chance to pick up a copy. I'm the author, Dan Pontefract.